Hey guys, Aaron Dorr here with the Indiana Firearms Coalition with a big alert for IFC members and everybody else who cares about the Second Amendment here in Indiana. Major gun control bills are being filed on a regular basis right now here in Indy. And guys, frankly, we haven't seen gun control bills filed like this in a very, very long time. A couple of years ago, the Democrats realized, not just here, but in red states across the country, that filing gun control bills in red states oftentimes only harmed their party at election time. But the situation is changing on the ground here in Indiana sufficiently. The gun grabbers don't feel that fear anymore. That's a very bad sign when it comes to our gun rights. And that is why Senate Bill 66 was just filed here in Indiana, guys, this bill is a massive omnibus gun control bill with a whole bunch of crap inside of it. But number one, and perhaps most important of all, is a complete ban on AR-15 style firearms. Of course, it's not just ARs. It's all kinds of similar firearms, very similar to your standard Diane Feinstein federal AR-15 ban that we've seen in the Congress for a very long time. This is now on the ground, a real live threat here in Indiana. In conjunction with that same bill, though, we also have universal background checks. Now, of course, you guys might not, you know, the terminology might be new to some people. The short version is that every firearms transfer would have to go through a NICS check first. And what that means is that private party sales, which are legal today here in Indiana, would all of a sudden become a criminal action. And so if I want to sell a firearm to my good friend, I can, I can do that right now. I could not if this bill becomes law. And the goal of this bill, as always, same in D.C., is to give the government a list of gun owners. By going through a next check, you will tell the federal government the kind of gun you've got and who's going to buy it, and it gives them what they want so bad, which is that ultimate list. I've got a picture here of the bill summary. Give me just one second. I think I've got that handy. Um it's pulling up right now, guys. Just give me one more second. Sorry for the delay. Here's the bill, SB 66. This is sponsored by Senator Andrea Hunley. Uh, Hunley is a freshman uh, in the state Senate right now. She is formerly a school teacher, clearly a radical, radical leftist. She's out of Fort Wayne. And guys, the issue here, again, is not just that there's a gun control bill at play. The issue here is that the gun grabbers in Indy for the first time, feel very emboldened. And that's because, to be frank, they're not hearing enough from gun owners across the state about opposition to these bills. So take a moment, whatever else you do, hit the link below or above, wherever you're watching this on right now, and make your voice heard. Sign your petition. Make sure your senator knows you are 100% opposed to SB 66. A lot of red states, a lot of red states, that, that have gone blue were red in the past and they turned blue because too many of us as gun owners, I'm not pointing to you, I'm just saying collectively, too many gun owners sat back and assumed the best, assumed that things were going to be okay, assumed that somebody else was going to stop this. We can't do that anymore in this country and we dang sure can't do it here in Indiana. We have a lot of rhinos who would stab us in the back the, the first chance they got. They have got to be hearing from us. It's an election year. We can defeat this, but only if we make our voices heard. Guys, hit the link, sign your petition, share the video, make sure everyone else at work, at church, at your, your family, your friends know what's going on and make their voices heard as well. And we'll keep you guys informed. Take care. Thanks for your time and stay free.